It seems everyone is going crazy about Game of Thrones. How could anyone dislike this jaw-dropping fantasy drama? But some celebrities definitely can't stand GOT. Who from the Big Bang Theory almost hates Game of Thrones? Find out the names of the GOT cast members who can't stand the show. Cersei. Walter Frey. Marin what happened between Cara Delevingne and Rob Stark? Stephen Delane. Stannis wasn't really anyone's favorite character on Game of Thrones, unless they were fans of creepy zealots, but who would deny that Stephen Delane is a good actor? He did a great job bringing to life the character of cruel, cold Stannis who killed a daughter for the Iron Throne. Although Delane has plenty of film and TV credits, his real passion is for the stage, and he has a long litany of nominations for Tony and other prestigious theater awards. However, Stephen admits that he really didn't enjoy the show very much. Delane says he was never really able to follow the Game of Thrones plot, even as a fairly central character on it, and so he never had any idea what he was doing until they had finished filming and it was too late for him to act better. By the end of his part on the show, the actor says he was disheartened by the thought that no one would believe in what he was doing. I felt I'd built the castle on non-existent foundations, he said. Despite this, Delane is not suffering from being a part of the most epic show ever. I do not regret having done Game of Thrones, but I have nothing to say about it either. I understood neither the series nor its success when I was a part of it. You may wonder why he took the part if he didn't understand the show, but the reason is very simple. You clearly already knew the answer to that, didn't you? After a long silence, the actor replied that he did it, among other things, for the money. Luckily, Delane had a savior during his time on Game of Thrones in the form of Liam Cunningham, who plays his former sidekick Sir Davos Seaworth, who was much more passionate about the show. Delane says Cunningham invests in it so thoroughly that it's quite moving, and he adds that he was entirely dependent on Cunningham to tell him what was going on in the scenes they shot together. Ironically, that is the same Davos Stannis connection we saw on screen. Maybe this fact made Stannis' storyline so alive and vivid. Myambialic. Mayim Bialik, the star of another TV hit, The Big Bang Theory, is also a Game of Thrones hater. We love Mialim and her amazing character Amy, but we really don't think that people can go around judging a show without actually watching a show. Yes, she really hasn't watched a single episode, and is not even going to do that. She thinks that women in the show are used as a beautiful addition to plot. Beautiful and or naked women are consistently present in scenes where their presence is not part of a plot or action. The scene is being set as one where beautiful and or naked women simply exist as if they are the wallpaper. In addition, GOT typically uses very skinny, large-breasted women as wallpaper. According to Mayam Bialik, this is not the biggest problem with the show. She wrote, One of the consistent complaints about the show is how rape is used as a plot point. Fans of both the series and the books on which the show is based note that unlike in the books, the show uses rape, over and over again, as a character development plot for women characters. Honestly, we don't agree with Mialim, who is judging the show very superficially. And what do you think about this? Please write in the comments below. However, another actress recently shared Mialim's opinion. Jessica Chastain has slammed the controversial Sansa Stark scene in a Game of Thrones episode. Season 8's fourth episode saw Sansa Stark in conversation with the Hound, in which she referenced all of the sexual assaults and violence she'd ever been subjected to over the seasons. Your finger and Ramsay and the rest, I would have stayed a little bird all my life. Jessica Chastain, who stars alongside Turner in Dark Phoenix, is among those who speak out against the scene, offering her own scathing response on social media. Rape is not a tool to make a character stronger, she wrote. A woman doesn't need to be victimized in order to become a butterfly. The hashtag little bird was always a phoenix. Her prevailing strength is solely because of her, and her alone. Hashtag Game of Thrones. Jack Gleason. In the early seasons of the show, Joffrey was definitely the most hated character. His image was so perfectly bad that it's hard not to praise Gleason's genius acting skills. Jack admitted that his character was inspired by Joaquin Phoenix's Commodus in Gladiator. Viewers were happy when Joffrey finally choked on his last few breaths. You will be surprised, but Jack Leeson was pretty excited about his character's fate as well. Jack Leeson even decided to quit acting after Joffrey's death. I just stopped enjoying it as much as I used to, he said of his decision. Furthermore, Jack is not a big fan of the show that made him famous. I find it hard to watch, he revealed. Gleason also added that he finds the misogyny and treatment of women on the show troubling. 
He said, yeah, of course. It's a tricky thing when you are representing misogyny in that way, because I wouldn't say the show ever implicitly condones misogyny or any kind of violence towards women. However, the actor still thinks it isn't quite right to portray misogyny on screen, even if it is portrayed in a negative light. Jonathan Price Yet another Game of Thrones alum, Jonathan Price, has revealed he isn't a fan of the series. The character behind High Sparrow had been previously asked to star in the show. I've been approached when it was just starting up. It was the kind of thing I wouldn't watch. Dungeons and Dragons and fantasy stuff never really appealed to me, Price tells Newsweek. But he was finally lured into the mythical world when presented with the High Sparrow role years later. I'm still glad I said no the first time around. I waited for High Sparrow. However, Jonathan Price revealed that he was, in fact, shocked to find out that his character was hated by the fans. I hadn't for one minute thought he was the bad guy. I saw him as the savior of that society. He was the ultimate socialist. He works for the poor, he washed people's feet, he didn't go so far as healing the sick, but he was a socialist. Charles Dance Yes, there is another Game of Thrones actor that didn't understand the show. Discussing Game of Thrones' extensive fandom, Dance, who portrayed Tywin Lannister, admitted he finds it difficult to understand. He added, Some of these people have plunged themselves fully into it, with bags full of ephemera and photographs and documentation and you think, my god, is that the way you spend your life? Dance explained that, funnily enough, he's not drawn to it. He's never been drawn to science fiction. However, Dance admitted that the show has amazing writing. When he was asked about the phenomenon of GOT's success, Charles answered, It starts with the writing, which is really, really good. And the production values are phenomenal. HBO and Sky have spent money on it, and you get what you pay for. Cara Delevingne Maybe Cara Delevingne didn't hate Game of Thrones, but she definitely isn't a huge fan of the show. After Richard Madden, who starred as Rob Stark, criticized Cara Delevingne for the unprofessional interview that she gave on her film Paper Towns, the model hit back via Twitter. I have no idea who you are, but I think it's a little desperate for a grown man to be bad-mouthing someone they don't know. If you really want attention that badly, try focusing on your own work and not other people's. So we're pretty sure that Kara doesn't watch the show and probably won't subscribe to HBO. Ian McShane Ian McShane makes a brief appearance in season 6 of Game of Thrones, but he was as happy as Ed Sheeran was during filming of the season 7. McShane not only confessed that he doesn't like Game of Thrones, but also spoiled the show for fans. He made headlines before the sixth season when he revealed that he would be helping bring back a much-loved character who everybody thinks is dead in the show, which turned out to be none other than The Hound. He thinks that the show is huge, but some fans seem to identify too closely with it. Describing the series as a show of tits and dragons, McShane said he only joined the cast so that he could work with his old pals Charlie Dance and Stephen Delane. Surprise, surprise, but both of these guys are on our list. Did they organize a haters club or what? McShane almost gave up on the role altogether upon learning his friends were killed off, but he ultimately agreed to do only one episode. So that means I must die at the end of it. Great, I'm in, he added. Now McShane is playing one of the main roles in American Gods, another fantasy TV show with gods, violence, and nudity. So tits and gods is better than tits and dragons? Lucy Lawless. Did you recognize this actress? Okay, how about now? Lucy Lawless isn't a huge GOT advocate, despite playing Xena the warrior princess for six years. Even more concerning, Lawless added that she tried, but there were dragons in it. She just can't get excited about things like furries and dragons. It puts her off. But rumor has it, Lucy tried to become a part of Game of Thrones and didn't pass the audition. Or she, like Ian McShane, prefers gods to dragons. Come on, Lucy, what did they do to you? Look how cute dragons are. What do you think about the final season? Write to us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Check out these other great stories from Asa and subscribe for new videos about your favorite stars.